One minute. I smell that in the morning when I take the shower. I'm a little embarrassed about that. Slimy is such an underrated texture. I feel like a uh-oh. Over the past decade, reality TV has inspired a whole new generation of people who aspire to be big time chefs, but not everyone makes it. And on Wednesday, Bravo will premiere a new culinary competition series called Top Chef Duels, which brings the top contestants from Top Chef and Top Chef Masters for a battle of epic proportions. And one of the superstar judges, Gail Simmons, is here to dis discuss that and tell us more about the show. Welcome Hi. to you. Thanks for having me, Lee. Yeah, so how is this different than the other ones? Um, you know, it, it has a lot of similarities, but a totally different look and feel. Top Chef Duels is about all your favorite Top Chef contestants, chef contestants over the years coming back to do head-to-head -head competitions. So we're throwing away the reality, the cooking expeditions, and we're just putting two of our best chefs every episode in an amazing kitchen cooking against each other so there's nowhere to hide. Okay, so the competition is fierce when you have so many winners from previous seasons going mm -hmm. up against each other to compete. So what do you look for as a judge when you're comparing so many great kitchen talent. You know, every challenge is different and just when you think you've eaten it all, tried it all, seen it all, they show you something new. So I never think about past challenges when I'm judging um, a dish to a dish. I just look at them exactly for what they are worth, how they taste, and which one did the best job at completing the task at hand. Well, wow. um, so we at home, we end up seeing the finished product, mm -hmm. but as someone watching the chefs go through this under so much pressure, uh, what's the hardest part of the competition that we're not seeing from the living room? Well, you know, interestingly, because it's just two chefs against each other on Top Chef duels, as opposed to when there's tons of chefs in the kitchen on, on Top Chef regularly, um, you really do get to see the process. That's what's so great about this specific series. It really focuses on the food and you are up close you know, the camera is right in the hands of the chefs. You see them go through everything. And these competitions that we're giving them, these challenges are really fast. I think what you don't see is the anxiety, the blood, sweat, and tears that really goes into it because it does happen so quickly. Um, and it always looks beautiful at the end, but that's the most amazing thing about these chefs. They are so talented that as opposed to on Top Chef when you never know what you're gonna get at the end of a challenge, you never know if you're gonna actually get good food on the plate, these chefs nail it every time. So you're really cooking <laughs> and then eating the best of the best. Uh, you're a former chef and someone whose professional life has been focused on food. What culinary trends are you seeing this summer that you're most excited about? Sure, well I would never call myself a chef. I certainly went to culinary school. I'm a trained cooking professional, but I worked in kitchens a very long time ago and I was not the head of them. Uh, that okay. said, I do spend my, set my time eating food around the country, um, working with chefs, cheering them on and tasting their food. There's so many great trends right now. I mean, I think that the, uh, the summer always inspires the freshest, simplest food, but I feel like popsicles and new twists on frozen dessert classics are really something that people get into in the summer. You're seeing all kinds of new uh, trends in frozen food, frozen popsicles. You know, the pudding pop is making a comeback, um, which I kind of think is pretty great. I do too. Yeah, it sounds good right <laughs> I now, love right? pudding pops. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much. Look, thank you. Look, looking very much forward to that show. I'm sure you'll be great on it. Thanks. Well, I can't wait to watch it myself. It's tomorrow night, so get all ready. Right. Hope Gail you enjoy. Simmons, thanks for coming on with thank us you. today.